I'm just a dude from the projects who said yes one day to God. God changed my life, turned everything around, and now I am amazed at where I am. I'm the guy that says, listen, man, I don't care who your mom is, what hood you from, what gang you claim, how long you been locked up, it don't matter. One decision to change your direction, if you make that decision in your mind. There's a lot of police in here. <laughs> They always told me you ain't nothing, you ain't never gonna be nothing because your father wasn't nothing. Then I lived in a neighborhood, I'm not too far from here. I lived in 7th and Kennedy Street, Northwest. Uh, my street was called Death Row. Look, look at the hood. I done been fortunate enough to be locked up. Cause if I hadn't gone to the penitentiary, I probably would have lost my life in these streets. And getting locked up and seeing other individuals from other neighborhoods, you discover that the hood is the same everywhere you go. I come running from the crap game. Dude shoot, I'm here, bing, 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 right here. So when I make this left and bend this corner, that's when it goes. Like... So if I don't make the left, I'm hitting the back of my head. For a long time prior to eighth grade, I didn't know it was nothing beyond George Apple. You know, from, from I live on seventh, from seventh, eighth, ninth to Georgia. That was my entire world. I didn't know it was a Tyson's yeah. or Virginia Beach or a, you know, I didn't know you could go to the Super Bowl. I didn't know you could go to these different sporting events because my world was right here. So what's ever going on in that little chaotic box in this four block radius, you got to make an adjustment. So it forced a young guy to really move as an adult because you got to navigate adults all the time. Yeah. Then you go to school, you find yourself in trouble because they want you to be a kid. I want to give you what God gave you. I know what the radio give you. I know what the OG in the neighborhood give you. I know what world star give you. I'm trying to give you what God give you. God has created all y'all. Watch this, you're, 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 you are God's handiwork, homes. You're going to know who beefing with who, what neighborhood is beefing with what, simply because you tied into some individuals that see you as not somebody that's going to hurt them or kill them or put them on the news or lock their cousin up or the things they see in the neighborhood. You're gonna, they're going to see you as a person who genuinely cares, and that's who you really are. You got to disrobe. My disdain and my disposition towards law enforcement was built in me or instilled in me before I ever committed a crime. I didn't grow up wanting to be police. It fell in my lap, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm out there locking young black men up constantly. I got mad with that because all I see is the same faces constantly being locked up. So how can I help on a different angle and still police them? Get into a unit that's community-based, and now I can help them. I changed my thought process. I ain't got to sell no dope no more. I ain't got to rob nobody. I eat good. Like real live, I eat. Y'all see my stuff? <laughs> I eat good, man. Soul crack, what a jail, got Jesus, now just talk. <laughs> God designed you with order, and you will never be able to get out of your life, and I don't care how much you put into it. Slim, you can do all the push-ups, you can run all the laps, you can do all the schoolwork, you are not gonna get what you desire if your life is out of order. Let me help you. 